You got time. That's all I hear is, hey, I got time. I'm young. I'll get there. I got no problem. You don't have time. Actually, you're already behind the eight ball. When I tell you what's coming up and what's coming after you guys, you will finally, for the first time in your life, it will click and you'll go, holy sheesh, I need to start my diet now. I need to start training now because he's right. I have no time. It is, what is today? Saturday. I got Jeffrey behind here if I miss anything today. He said something <clears throat> he wanted me to follow up on. And uh, the following up was, the other day I put up a video and it was talking about, you don't have any more time. And, and the point was that you guys, a lot of you say, hey, I got time to get to where Mike is. So I did my career and so my, my job, I would say, or my belief in what I need to do now is share my knowledge with you guys to give you the best knowledge as possible. And the first thing is time is not something that you have. Unfortunately, I was already a champion bodybuilder and powerlifter by 17. So if you're older than 17 and you're not already in the magazines, you're already behind me. So to get where I'm at, could you have a faster career? I don't know, I was already endorsements and all that by 18, 19 years old. I don't think it's relevant to where I'm at. And I think the problem is a lot of you guys get stuck up, stuck on where I'm at and that you got time when it's not about me. It's about the kids your age, the kids younger than you. It's Titan, which we talked about the other day. Understand this kid, maybe, oh, I could say actually, uh, incredible, beyond genetics, uh, a freak of nature. On top of that, we haven't missed a meal since the day he was born. And what I mean by that is it is absolutely crazy that my girl never went three hours without feeding him from the second he was born. So imagine now that genetics plus the feeding, um, and then we'll find out what his work ethic is like in the next 10 years. But that being said, there's other kids out there. There's other guys out there that want this lifestyle, this health and fitness lifestyle to be the gurus, be Mr. Olympia, Mr. Universe, uh, champion powerlifters, strongmen, whatever that is, there's people out there that are probably your age or younger willing to put in the work without the genetics. It doesn't matter because I always believe, and I talked about it the other day, is uh, there's a lot of guys that win the biggest shows in the world without the greatest genetics. Uh, Jay Cutler says it over and over again. He may not have had the greatest genetics, but he outworked everybody. Um, and so I would just go off of that. Is that kind of like where you wanted me to talk about on yeah. these guys and just kind of explain to them that time is not an, a, a, a bigger point and is relevant to me right now is a superstar wrestler at 39 just passed away, one of my closest friends in the world. And so think of that process um bigger than life bigger than life this guy's bigger and stronger than me and he passed away at 39 years old um superhero but again tomorrow's not guaranteed to any of us and so what i'd like you guys to do is today write down a list of five things how you are going to prioritize your priorities okay don't be busy be productive all these kind of things is what I'd like you guys to focus on now. Uh, number one, not lifting. It's not sleeping. Uh, it is nutrition, and I will continuously say this. Uh, the one thing that I've been able to do over the years is, is outbeat everybody because of the nutrition. And if you think it's outworking somebody in the gym, trust me, don't put yourself, don't get a misconception of yourself of being that much of a badass. You're not. Sorry, I'm not. Um, you're not going to outwork the other guys in the gym. You're going to outwork them outside of the gym on the little minute things about dieting, staying on point, trying, I know it's tough, trying to stay stress-free or at least love your life in a sense to where you're not all just bound up and that cortisol release and you're not making any gains because of the fact that you're so stressed out. Um, and again, the next thing is don't assume the world owes you anything. It doesn't. It doesn't owe you anything at all. We're in a crazy time right now, and uh, you gotta work your ass off. You gotta figure out whatever job you were doing before. If it's not working now, we gotta make something else, move and groove. And I'm trying to talk to all you guys that wanna be influencers and be incredible athletes, 
uh, or, or powerhouses in the influence world. Guys, um, stay true to who you are. Stop being a carbon copy. Stop being an echo. Stop taking somebody's exercise and say, this is the exercise to do. Be yourself, be creative. If there's no other exercise to make up, which you don't need any more exercise, we have enough. Um, and nutrition is what it is, then just be something different in the sense of your personality. Trust me, man, I follow, a more, I follow more guys with sense of humors than I do with guys with great bodies and are strong. Um, so again, on, on all this aspect about time, none of us have it. Get your ass moving. Do not wait. Do not wait until this, quarter, this uh, lockdown is over. Start your nutrition now. Uh, we were setting up, and we are setting up, July 1st? Yes, sir. Is that sir. enough time? Mm-hmm. All right. July 1st. You hear it here first. Uh, July 1st, we are going to do the 30-day blitz again. Now, by July, I think we are out. Even California will be out of lockdown. Is that so far the word? Is it July or August? Now? August. Oh. I think August something, something. Either way, we will be set and ready to go. I'll let you know if it's going to be July 1st or August 1st to start the 30-day blitz. Doesn't mean we don't start something now. We start the nutrition now, get that muscularity so that when we do the 30-day blitz, we got the muscle on us and we just get sliced. Um, what is the 30-day blitz? There's a good point. 30-day blitz. Remember, I guess it was the end of, well, like always, I get in shape during winter. Uh, during Christmas, I got ridiculously freaky shape. Um, and <laughs> it's actually when I fell off the stage. So, um, but I was 261 pounds ripped to the freaking bone. The goal this year is to be 272 pounds ridiculously ripped for the Olympia. What? Anyways, um, this is the point. We are going to get sliced. 30 day blitz is a 30 day span where we are training twice a day. There's a nutrition plan for all of us already set up over on the platform. So you follow the workouts I give you, two workouts a day, um, two cardios a day. You follow the nutrition. I incorporate some crazy stuff into there uh, and we get in the most incredible shape in 30 days. But I need you to be somewhere before the 30 days. You need to be yeah. set up before you start the 30 days. Because if you just go Joe Blow, haven't yep. done anything and you go into the 30 days, it's not going to work as well. But let me do this. Let me do this. Um, do a moderate home workout. And then the other aspect to it is I need you to have a good nutrition plan going into the 30 days. That you can start. That you can get going. Um, That's a then, great point. Because I was going to say, you're talking about a plan that you're not – you're not even a you're you got a month to start this yeah. plan so you've already been preparing for four or five months for something I've, that's I've not been, even happened yet yeah i've been preparing this myself uh since i finished and fell off stage um but for you guys i need you guys to start mona's over there <laughs> laughing her ass off now <laughs> but it is um so man i'm excited for this i want you guys to join in and do this with me Again, all of you guys uh, that have the Titan meal plan, which you can click here to get, all of you, don't DM me on Instagram. Do not message me on Facebook. You are already in the Titan crew where I talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I talk to the whole platform, everybody there. It's a private group only for you guys. Uh, if you have my fit plan, again, don't DM me. Go right over to the Titan crew, get in there again, that is just a private group with you and me. I only talk to the Titans about that stuff. So make sure you guys get that. That is free. For anybody that's on my plans, it's free. So get your butts over there. We'll do additional talks on there to make sure that everything is perfect. That's it, man. Um, we are uh, continuing the YouTube. Thanks for the feedback on the YouTubes too, man. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I know Jeff's doing the best he can. Uh, unfortunately, we, we we're gonna work with somebody Mona was setting us up with, which was incredible. This guy was, but we couldn't get him, but we got Jeffrey. So <laughs> we're okay, right, Mo? All right. Yeah, we'll Thank stay with Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> we'll stay with Jeff. Uh, um, and then uh, again, I'll try to keep Heath Evans to a minimum in all videos, but it is what it is. Uh, and that's it, man. Enjoy the day. Again, the point of this get started now because you don't have time.